Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss the topic NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon. This topic basically NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon converts and NFA with epsilon moves directly to the DFA or we can say that it is a NFA without epsilon. Now before discussing this topic you people should be aware of what is NFA and what is DFA. NFA basically stands for non-deterministic finite automata and DFA stands for deterministic finite automata. For more detail between the, on the difference between these two terms, kindly refer to my previous lecture, difference between NFA and DFA. But to just have a look or an overview of what is NFA and what is DFA, a DFA is a transition diagram in which from each and every state, and for each and every input, we have exactly one next state. For example, if I have initial state 0, from here, if I have A as an input, then directly I am transiting only to the ne one next state, that is 1. Same as for B, let's say I am transiting to the state 2. Now, similarly, from these two states, let's say A for B transition, suppose this is my final state and I have A, comma B. Now in this diagram, from each and every state, for each and every input alphabet, we have exactly only one next state. So this is an example of DFA. Now if we talk about NFA, this is an example of NFA. Now in this case, it is a possi there, there might be a possibility that from one state and fro for one single input alphabet, there may be more than one next state. Now let us have a look that whether this is a NFA or a DFA. Now this is state 0, state 1, state 2 and state 3. This is an initial state and this is a final state. Now from state 0, if I look upon with input A, the next state is 1. From state 0 with input B, the next state is 0. From state 1 with input A, the next state is 2 and the next state is also 3. So if I look upon 1 with A, there are two next state that is 2 comma 3. So in this case from one state with A input the next transition cannot be determined uniquely. So this is an example of NFA. Now if I talk about NFA there are two different types of NFAs. One is with epsilon move and one is without epsilon move. This one is an example of NFA without epsilon move and this one is an example of NFA with epsilon move. If we look at this diagram very carefully, then we will say that this is not a NFA, this is a DFA because from each and every state for single input, there, there is only one next state. Now, for example, if I look upon 0 with A is 1, 1 with epsilon is 2, 2 with A is 2. So from each and every state for every input alphabet, there is only one next state. But as per the property of theory of automata, that w epsilon is equals to epsilon w is equals to w. What does it mean that if any string is followed by epsilon or if any string is preceded by epsilon, this will exactly equal to the string. Now let's have a look on this diagram again that how it is NFA. If we say at state 0, the input a, the next state is 1. So 0 comma a, the next state is 1. If I again look at state 0 and the input a epsilon, the next state is 2. Fine. So this a epsilon is equals to a again by using this property. So hence we can see that 0 comma a will tends to 1 comma 2. Again defining it as an MFA. So this is how we always say that if a transition diagram have epsilon moves in it, then, then it will be considered as a NFA, not as a DFA. Now, method of conversion from NFA with epsilon to NFA without epsilon. For example, if we have this automata, Now, in this case, you can say that we have Q0 with 0 is Q0, Q0 
with 0 we also have q2 how it is possible q0 with 0 epsilon epsilon tends to q2 so again it is a nfa q0 with 0 is q0 comma q2 now how to convert this nfa with epsilon to nfa without epsilon or how to convert it to dfa we can say that directly so the method is in this case we first of all find out the epsilon closure of each and every state so we will find out epsilon closure of q0 we will find out epsilon closure of q1 we will also find out epsilon closure of q2 so the number of states in the given nfa we will find out exactly that number of epsilon closures now how to find the epsilon closure epsilon closure first of all includes the state itself for which we are find, finding the epsilon closure so q0 for epsilon closure of q0 it will be equal to q0 comma all the state with to which you can reach by using the epsilon for example q0 with epsilon is q1 so q1 q0 with epsilon is also q2 so it will be q2 fine so the epsilon closure of q0 will be the state the state itself and all those states to which you can reach by using epsilon moves. So it will be q0, q1, q2. Now same way the epsilon closure of q1 will be equal to the state itself q1 comma with the epsilon move we can reach to q2. For epsilon closure of q2 the state itself and there is no other state by which we can reach using epsilon. So its epsilon closure will be q2. So the epsilon closures will be found in this manner. I am writing the epsilon closure over here q0, q1, q2, q1, comma, q2 and then q2. Now how to convert it to DFA? Now we will consider these sets as individual states. This will be our one state, this will be our second state, this will be our third state. That is the capital Q set for the DFA. Now we will start with the epsilon closure of the initial state. So that is Q0, Q1 and Q2 and make the transition diagram, transition table. The inputs, possible inputs are 0 and 1. Now in this case if we look Q0, Q1, Q2 with 0. We have to write the transition. So we will look for Q0 with 0. It's Q0. Q1 with 0, no transition. Q2 with 0, Q2. So we will write over here Q2. Same way Q0, Q1, Q2 with 1. It will become Q0 with 1, no transition. Q1 with 1, Q1. And Q2 with 1, no transition. So the state over here will be Q1. So for every new state we find here, we will write the transition as we did before while converting from NFA to DFA. So the new state will become Q0, Q2 and the other state will be Q1. So first of all, we write it for Q0, Q2 with 0. Q0 with 0 is Q0, Q2 with 0 is Q2. Q0 with 1 is no transition, Q2 with 1 is no transition. So over here no transition will be there. So from this case we didn't find any new state so we will not add anything here. Now Q1 with 0 is nothing and Q1 with 1 is Q1. Now in this case we will not find any new state so we will stop there. Now it is the time to decide the final state. Now how we will decide the final state? Now, which one is the final state in the given NFA? That is Q2. Now, we will look on this present state column and see the state which are having final state as a set or as a whole. Now, this one and this one both contains Q2 as a final state. So, this one will be considered as final state and this one will also be considered as a final state. Now, the DFA will be drawn as... Q0, Q1, Q2 with 0, it tends to Q0, Q2 with 1, 
it tends to q1 q0 q2 with 0 tends to itself q1 with 1 tends to itself this one is the final state and this one is also the final state so this is the given dF equivalent dF 